That's a great idea. See, I'm personally all about that orange life. That's me. Lowe's. Ugh. Well, I understand they got a better selection for what I'm looking for. That's a Vidalia sweet onion it from is. Vidalia County, Georgia. It is a Vidalia. These are. When you go to like Outback and you ask for their blooming onion, this is what they're deep frying right here. This thing is so good. They're sweet. I love these and I've bought a ton of them recently because I want to do like stir fried veggies. Did you know that those are actually low? Well, you can make them low point. They're not low point when you get them at the. At, at the teppanyaki place. Yeah, because they're like dousing it and put jillions of pounds of butter. But you can make a version of that that tastes just as good at home. I'm skeptical because butter is delicious. Butter is, and you still use some butter, particularly just a little bit of finishing butter, just a tiny bit, some garlic and parsley butter right here with your. You see, it's funny you're holding this up, but they're looking at a close up video of the butter right now. Mm. <laughs> so anyways. Yes. What are we making tonight? Tonight we're making meat, specifically ribeye steaks Not that are sure. like an inch thick. Super thick. Now, ah. uh, four of us are eating these three steaks. There's, there's gonna be scaping. leftovers. Yeah, there's gonna be leftovers. So we're making steaks tonight. They're what are these? That's corn. What kind of corn? That's sweet yellow corn. Mm. What's in here? Uh, butter. And? Salt. Anything else? Delicious. Just delicious. We're gonna put these on the grill too because because I can't really? actually eat it off the cob. My teeth just don't like that very much, so I actually have to cut it off. But something about it just hits different. It, it tastes so much better. It does. So yeah, we make a half dozen of those tonight. Got some watermelon. We do have watermelon. Do you know why it's out? No. Because it's been in the fridge all week and nobody ate it. So I pulled it out and everybody's eyeing it like, I want to eat the watermelon. We're gonna have watermelon with our dinner. And this little guy. I know what that is, that's rosemary. And why is he out? It's a herb. I'm gonna add them to our garlic parsley butter. So we're going to, uh, after we sear the steaks, you get them in the cast iron and you put the finishing butter over it. In the cast iron. Yeah, I love cast iron. Um, I love cast iron too, but you know what I love more than a cast iron? What do you love more than a cast iron? A grill. A grill. I have a grill, but it's dying. It's the dying. wind caught it and knocked it off my porch. Uh, again. Do you remember that one time we chained it to the deck? Oh yeah, and it still got away? It still got away. That thing has gotten blown off of our porch so many times. Um, and it's just a little, but it's a Weber. It yeah. was an expensive little grill. Well, at the time it was expensive, but yeah, uh, it, was, it was a good grill. Weber, hey, you make a good grill. Just saying. I just can't get yeeted off the porch a bunch of times. Hey, Weber, if you guys build a grill and you want to yeet it off a porch, I'll be happy to test it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sad, but our Weber is no longer coming up to temperature. No matter how hard we try to fix it, I think it's just taken too much of a beating. Um, as you saw in one of our recent videos, we haven't even bothered to take that good a care of it anymore because we know it's on its way out. It's on its way out. In fact, we're talking about replacing one. We are, so grill versus griddle. Grill, griddle, grill, griddle. Why not both? No, no, I'm kidding. I'm actually I, going to go with a flat top. I really time. wish you could, why can't you have both? How come they don't make they do. grills that just have a griddle that goes on top? But you gotta pay so much money for the, maybe. I don't know. We're gonna go look at one of those here in a little bit. So what are we gonna do all this week? We're gonna grill. We're gonna grill. Including oh, some chicken. things you wouldn't, what about it? We have like 40 pounds of that in No, the I'm thinking when you grill chicken, one of the benefits to grilling the chicken is the fat kind of renders off of it. Okay, so I thought about this, right? Because I was looking at my cell phone earlier going, I want that one and that one and that one, but your black, uh, black stone or your flat top, whatever you want to call it. Um, it sits at a slight angle, so all the fat runs forward and into the little hole and into the drip tray below. Oh, it's got a drip tray we got to clean. No, it's made of aluminum and you just Oh, toss you replace it. it? Yes, it's disposable. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm lazy. I am too. Well, so. obviously, because that grill looks like trash. Oh, did I accidentally make everything grilled? I did, didn't I? You did. I so, didn't mean to. <laughs> so we were going to discuss our meals, which is why I've got the notepad. And uh, everything on here was grilled and it was completely unintentional mm. but then i realized that's a fantastic talking point so we're going to talk about how everything we're going to eat this week is grilled well and here in virginia it is 87 degrees today on the first day of may and it's only going to get hotter so we're going to grill so we're going to grill and we're going to be hot outside grilling because unfortunately 
the grill is no longer under the gazebo. It's all full exposure sun. We can go out front and piss off the neighbors. No, what we need to do is um, put it back under the gazebo somewhere. Not against the house. You melt the siding. Again. No, but I wonder if I can put it near the plants without hurting the plants. I oh, don't yeah. Know. We're grilling, and one of the things we're making is a new recipe that I wanted to try. Which one? The chicken bacon ranch sandwiches. Oh, I love a good chicken bacon and ranch sandwich. Ooh. I'm not sure how it's gonna look on points yet. We're gonna have to do some adjusting. So it's gonna be chicken breast, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna slice it thin like I do. Yeah. And I guess throw it on the grill. It's gonna be seasoned, bacon. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna grill up the bacon, let the fat run off. What kind of cheese? Uh, something low point, probably provolone. And then you take your roll, and then because we're points conscious, being on the WW Weight Watchers Green Plan, uh, you spread your ranch on like mayo. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get the flavor on your grilled ciabatta roll. Mm. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. So we're gonna do chicken bacon and ranch sandwiches on the grill. We're gonna do chicken fried rice, a la the hibachi joint. You're gonna need some more of this. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Um, we're gonna do turkey burgers. Because seriously, who doesn't love a good turkey? Burger? I think my kids like them more than hamburgers. Then we're gonna do uh, uh, island teriyaki chicken, which is basically just gonna be chicken that's marinated and then some island. white rice. And uh, um, I was gonna do the veggies. And we'll do some more in the island veggies, teriyaki sauce, which will be good. And then steaks. Ta-da! Mm, Ta-da! I was supposed to do grilled veggies with the steaks, but I think we're gonna do the corn. We're gonna do corn instead. So yeah, we're gonna grill each night. That's gonna be great. So. Mm-hmm. What else happened this week? Peloton got delivered. Round three. Round three. Fight. So, our Peloton was great, and then it broke, and they brought me a new one, and they said, here it is. It's We're fixed. talking about the Tread, by the way. Tread not Plus. Not the bike. The big one. So, I love the bike. So, my Tread Plus, it broke. But then Peloton's like, no problem, we'll send you a new base. And then the base shows up, and it's worse. Oh, no. And I can't use it for, like, a month. And so I called them back, hey, stuff's broke, yo. And they're like, sounds good, I'll have a new one there in like three days. So three days later, a brand new base, not a refurb, shows up and it's live. Now, Peloton Homecoming is taking place. Well, what's that? It's like your Apple Expo, but for Peloton. Here's our new features. I'm John Foley, CEO of Peloton. Let me tell you of our new features. Is that his name? I don't know, I think so. I think it's John Foley, I could be wrong. Good, good job. I, I remember the weirdest things. So. <laughs> Four brand new features that, no, I'm the runner. Yeah. And I love these four new features. One, they redid their scenic stuff. So they called it the scenic relaunch. So mm -hmm. instead of just running to this scenic trail, it now adjusts the speed of the playback with the speed of the treadmill. That is so cool. Also in the scenic relaunch, they're doing the guided runs where you have a trainer running in front of you. They also have that for the bike. Really? Mm-hmm, with the biker in front of you. I haven't done those yet. Um, and then they're also doing the time-based ones, which have uh, good music, because the music was lackluster. So they oh, yeah. reworked playlists so that they, um, they change every day. So you could do the same scenic run every day, but with but different, music. different music. Mm -hmm. oh, ho, ho. Peloton's awesome. Okay, uh, then they added something called the Strive Score, which is basically, it's paying attention to your heart rate, and it gives you another stack of metrics to compare against other people, and that's actually really cool. I, I can't describe it too well, but the longer you're in higher heart rate zones, the higher of a multiplier you get for points, and you come out and they mm -hmm. game a fight, and it's awesome. It's like, you know, if you use the bike, you're familiar with output, right? Like, the harder you pedal, the more output you're putting out based on cadence and resistance. Uh, the tread has a harder time developing that because, well, you're either going five miles an hour or four miles an hour and it really can't, there's no other metric to combine with it. So now they're using your heart rate to give you a whole different set of metrics. And it's fantastic and I love it. Uh, next is uh, they've added new programs. So couch to 5K, yoga, strength, core, and it's a series of tailored oh, programs for dance? getting- dance? Okay, you're, so they had a lot of those already. Yeah, but they redid them. They redid them, and, and they, and they introduced, um, they also introduced dance cardio, yep. family fitness. Prenatal fitness. Prenatal fitness, and bike boot camp. Ooh. Which didn't exist before. We had tread boot camp, which is, because it's easy to get on and off the tread, it's not as easy to get on and off the bike. That's why they didn't want to do that. Uh, okay. But, so you get off the tread and you do some strength and some push-ups and you get back on the tread and you run some more. Yeah. Um, they've done that for the bike now. That is great. And then they've changed target metrics. So with the bike plus, um, it would adjust the speed and or it would adjust the resistance on the fly based to what your instructor was doing. And while you can't force that on a treadmill, because that's a good way to die, um, 
they've set it up to where it's now telling you where you should be based on the class. What's your range, yeah. Yeah. And then um, it's more personalized towards you. So if I log in on my profile and they know that my heart rate spikes to its max output at say a seven mile per hour, it's not gonna suggest I do a seven when the trainer is saying, uh, you know, moderate effort. So. so it's it's really good. Now, the biggest thing they introduced and they announced, they didn't introduce it today, is the pause button. They are now going to allow you to pause live classes, which is a big deal for them and for us, because how do you pause a live class, right? With a pause button? Well, right, but now you're no longer live and you don't have a way to catch up with everybody. No. Um, so, but they understand that life gets in the way and you got kids and you got stuff going on. Maybe the doorbell rings, maybe the cat just broke into the room and you might need to pause what you're doing to address the situation. They're, they're allowing that. It's almost like a TiVo situation. Yeah. It's, you're never going to catch up again, though. Once you pause a live session, you're yeah, you're, you're, you're out behind. of the live. But so that's cool. Anyway, the Peloton was delivered this week, and I'm so excited because one of my biggest hurdles is now no longer a hurdle. So speaking <laughs> of hurdles, jumping? No, mm. our struggles. Let's let's okay. talk about our struggles. Do you ever feel like you're half-assing the Weight Watchers program? I'm on Weight Watchers, but am I really? You know, I think what people really do is they um, they start questioning the program they're on. So we're on Weight Watchers WW Green Plan, right? Yep. Um, and I love the Green Plan. Green Plan's because great. Because it's highly restrictive. Um, it seems like you have a lot of freedom, but you don't. But you don't. Um, and then I find myself doing it for a week or two and not seeing the progress I want, going, maybe I should do a blue plan. Maybe I should just live off of eggs and chicken. Uh, if I could live off of eggs and chicken and a small amount of cheese, I would be okay. I like eggs, chicken, and cheese. When quite honestly, it's nothing It's nothing to do with which Weight Watchers program I'm doing. I'm being, I gotta be honest. Weight Watchers is a great program that is tried and true and has been um, proven to be successful repeatedly. Yeah, I feel like we half-assed the program a little bit. So with that in mind, you got issues. Have you ever noticed that after about two days of success, it could be to you, could be me, could be her. After about two days of success, you're like, I've done so good, I deserve a treat. I think Wednesday is our problem. Yeah, so Monday and then Tuesday, because <laughs> yeah. we always start on Mondays, Monday and Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, uh -huh. I need a treat. No the hell I don't, stick to the damn program. Well, and see, that feels counterintuitive to what Weight Watchers is, right? You're supposed to be able to have anything you want as long as you budget for it. So if I'm gonna insist on having that treat two days in, then I guess I better not have anything else that Got day. Got a budget for it. Right. But uh, I don't think it's as bad as, well, I haven't been lying to the system. I haven't been consistently doing Weight Watchers every day like I should. Huh. I have been. Oh, I haven't. I and I don't like point. saying that because I like to think that I'm pretty spot on, but no, I'm, I know for a fact I'll walk have... by the fridge and be like, ooh, string cheese. Ooh, handful of peanuts. Ooh, okay, this. Okay, but string cheese is one point. You'd have to eat a lot of string cheese. I eat a lot of string cheese and peanuts and a handful of this and a handful of I mindlessly snack. I don't so mindlessly snack on some watermelon and some grapes. I don't even like watermelon. Grapes are delicious. They are, i.e., the Skittles of the fruit world. And you in no way should eat like five pounds of them in a day. But Why does everybody always say five pounds when they imagine overindulgence? I can't eat five pounds of anything. Except for water, and that say. takes me like an entire day. So, what you got there? String cheese. How many points is that? One. Do you have a point to eat that? Yes, but I'm not going to. Just teasing. You I haven't know. been following today. I know. Actually, I'm really close. Okay. Making time to work out. Yes, that's making thing, time to work out. That's the thing I don't do so good. Why not? between my two jobs and my two classes and the kids and you and and me and you i i i'm here i wish you could work out and my own just i'm tired uh i have a hard time making myself do the workouts okay so here's a question hmm. and this goes for you people too what exercises would you consider to be good for someone who hates working out i don't know why not so what do you think of running I can't run yet. I'd like to get up to it. I'd like to see if I could experience a uh, runner's high. What do you think of walking? It's, it's a thing I can do. It's a thing that you can do. What do you think of the spin bike? It's okay. It okay. hurts my butt, what but I enjoy the class. What do you think of ring fit? I don't like it. What? Are, are you? 
I think okay, so this is a legit re- What? I think it's just the carpet. I think because a lot of it is running in place and yeah. I don't know, I think it got repetitive really fast. It's working out. It's not supposed to. Well, like Just Dance, I like Just Dance. Is working out supposed to be fun? I actually, I, mean, I like running. I'm pretty sure yeah. working out is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to find a workout you enjoy. Oh, fine. Okay. So, back to the whole concept of we're half-assing the program. Wait, I have a question. Oh, no. What is a workout that you found out you loved? Like, maybe you thought you wouldn't. Or uh, maybe you have a friend who hates working out, but you got them to love this thing you do. Um, tell me. Tell me what it is. I've done, um, I remember doing step aerobics. Step aerobics was fun. Um, at first I didn't love it. At first I was dying. And by the time I was done with that class three or four months later, I was pulling up, I was doing push-ups and, and that dip. That's impressive. Um, and I enjoyed it at the end, but getting to the point where I could do it enough to enjoy it took a really long time. So that's where I think I've hit on the treadmill is I, Running is terrible, but I'm finally to the point, I think, where I figured out my form and I've hit that runner's high once. Once. That now I'm chasing it like a drug, and which I think that's actually what it is. Mindless snacking. I'm actually, I don't do a ton of that. My, my kryptonite is chips, though. I'm not a huge snacker, actually. I do pretty good at not being a huge snacker, which is kind of why I was so perplexed for a long time of, Where's all this weight coming from? Because I'm pretty much eating my meals and that's it. Right here, garlic butter. That's so, finishing butter though. I, it's not like you eat it with a spoon. No, you don't, but you melt it down and then you drizzle it over popcorn. You eat it with your fingers. Oh, I've never thought of that. But right, that me. just came to me. So we make the Disney popcorn with the Flavicol and the coconut oil and it's delicious and you shouldn't. Don't eat that, it's terrible for you. And then if you were to drizzle finishing butter over it. You know what I was thinking is because we're cooking outside this week that we're about to make a really bad choice when it comes to popcorn. <laughs> like onions, garlic, butter, heat. Uh, yeah, there you go. All right, so it's the middle of May, beginning of May. It's, it it's is It's gonna May. be May. I was waiting for that. Okay, so it's May now. <laughs> and with May, May, June, July, August, September, five months, yeah, five months. Five months from now, we are going to Disney World again. Mm. I want to fit on the ride. I want to fit on the rides too. Disney skinny, that's a thing. See one of my old videos. Um, I don't care about this. I, I do, but here's the thing is we want to live stream. So we're asking, please, please. Like, hey. subscribe. Like and subscribe. And then what? And then ring the bell. Why? Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so it's important because we have to hit a certain cap, 1,000 subscribers, in order to live stream while we're in the parks. And that's what we want to shoot for. So if you could take just a moment, we would appreciate it. Tell your friends, we're hilarious. Looking. Have you seen me? <laughs> so, you know what we gotta go do now? Go buy a grill? We're gonna go buy a grill. I see, I already showed them footage. Look at these grills and of us looking at a grill, but we're actually about to walk out and do that. So, that's the power of editing, folks. Future us are gonna have a grand old time picking a grill. Let's go do it. All right, have see a you great later. Day. Bye.